Hello everybody, in this video we take a look at the parameter HD, alright? See dash dash, HD at the end, right? You put it after you put the description of what you want to render, and after that you put the parameter. It doesn't matter the, which parameter is first, but it needs to be at the end. And you can see HD. So what HD does? Well, on midjourney.jitbook.io we describe as this, uh, dash dash HD. Called, is for high definition, uses a different algorithm that potentially better for large images, but with less consistent composition. All right. Uh, so basically, of course, I did uh, try it in different ways, uh, and I'm going to show you uh, results. So first of all, look at the image that generated using uh, HD here. See HD at the end? The images, uh, many of the images uh, generate very uh, detailed, with intricate details uh, and complex, uh, very detailed images in general, uh, look even more stylized, leads to a more stylized image uh, in general. But again, more details, and you can see it here. Now, let's take something with the same seed, all right, and apply HD to it. But again, keep in mind, it uses a different algorithm. So this is another one without HD, right? It looks like you're using like data sets of images that have much more detail uh, uh, into it because it leads to images that just look absolutely brilliant in terms of details. Let's uh, go down. This is another one. Why right? Sunflower, summer day. Lots of small details. See, give it the background. Let's go down and the same, see, we're just omitting the HD. And look at the image, much more plain, with le much less details everywhere, background, subject. Right? Uh, this is another one, creature. And Let's look at one with HD. Again, not with the same seed, but you can see all the details here, both the background and character. The difference is uh, quite amazing. This is another one with HD. Uh, again, you can see you can get some things that are more simple, right? Doesn't mean you don't get some, everything is gonna be with backgrounds or completely stylized, uh, as you can see here. But again, I can totally agree when they say uh, less consistent compositions, definitely. <laughs> because of all the details. This is actually kind of funny. I use this description a lot to generate, I'm gonna show you, this is 3455. And I actually generated many of them, or the potato with the uh, with, uh, french fries. And 3455 is actually this one. If I generated the same seed, it actually leads to something quite similar to that. All right, uh, I tried with different seeds, and uh, of course I tried it before to generate different images that, again, more or less look quite similar, even without using variations. All right, but when I did it with HD for the three, four, five, five, so look what I got. <laughs> Probably the data set, the images that were fed to the AI were actually very detailed images, probably similar to what you see here, that led to things, you know, just different images. It's not actually what I described, it actually fell off what I described, right? So the other one was actually very accurate, uh, relatively very accurate compared to when I HD, this is not what I wanted, it's what screaming, just, Maybe I just need to be more precise when I put something with HD to get better result, but this is definitely far, far from what I got before, even with the same seed. This is another one. So you can see uh, clear transparent glass sphere, Unreal Engine, realistic, ray trace, and same seed one to three. So we get something more or less similar in those four images. And now we can see that if I put HD, where, <laughs> where this background was coming from? Actually, the background here, as you can see, because of the seed, is quite similar. But look at that. Look at all the other things. Like, nobody even mentioned it. And it's there. 
you just add like HD adding those details automatically without me actually putting anything in any description. It's just in favor of actually adding more things uh, to the image to make it more, well, high definition detail, right? Now I can tell you that definitely it adds more details so it looks beautiful on large images uh, because you can see all the fine details. Uh, it's kind of injecting, uh, kind of a cynically beautifying the image, but of, co of course it depends on the description. You can get some things that will either look much less details or uh, just look different compared to just if you use the other algorithm. Uh, but it doesn't mean that everything will just be, uh, you know, injected with beautiful details or it will look beautiful or it will look what you want, right? So it's good experimenting with HD because in some ways it actually leads to... Uh, Images looking uh, either very realistic, very rich in details, and in some ways you can either uh, just not do what you want. Uh, it's the opposite side. You just will generate image that just not really stand uh, with the close to the description that you actually the output that you wanted to achieve with your textual description, basically. All right? But it's definitely worth experimenting. We can it can complement beautifully some artistic result that you want to achieve. So it's very good to experiment. I'm experimenting with it quite a lot lately. Before that, I didn't even use it at all because actually I got so inconsistent results and because I wanted to describe something and I got something else. It kind of annoyed me. So I just dropped it and focused on other things. And lately I tried to add more of it and try to control more of what I describe to actually not let the HD kind of shift it to a place where I don't want it to be. Kind of. But again, more experimentation. I'm going to share more once I find more findings. But this is just kind of a sneak peek so you can see what you can expect more or less. And the best thing, of course, is just practice and experiment with it with different things. Sometimes you choose a particular art direction and you want to go with it and maybe it's going to perfectly fit uh, the type of image that you want to get. Uh, and in some ways, maybe you're better off dropping it. But it's worth experimenting for sure. Really, it doesn't cost you. Just add a parameter, see how it goes. Try maybe with different seeds, see the result you get and continue from that point on. So this is it. If you have anything to add, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Consider leaving a like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Cheers.